Industrial robots like these are strong and powerful tools. They're also dangerous and a little menacing. Cold, hard arms programmed to perform the same repetitive tasks, largely oblivious to those around them. But now a team of researchers at King's College London are developing what's known as soft robots. So a soft robot is inherently safe because a soft robot, when it bumps into you, it will be soft, it will bounce off you. What we'd like is to be able to make um, systems that humans can collaborate with, people can work together with a robot, and you don't have to have the fear that the robot is going to crush somebody if, if the robot is soft. And it's the natural world that's been the source of many of the ideas behind the team's new designs. These researchers took inspiration from the octopus, an animal that doesn't have a hard skeleton but is still able to become stiff and rigid. And they mimicked its muscles and the way it does this using silicon, uh, small granules and pressurised air to produce an arm they believe could make robotic surgery considerably safer. If you have a very rigid robot, you can easily damage tissue, harm a patient. So now moving away from that, leaving that behind and, 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 and really exploring the idea of soft robots will make an enormous difference because suddenly we have a robot that effect, is effectively not, not capable of uh, injuring the patient even though we have a very close uh, contact between the robot and the patient. They're also looking at the hooves of goats. Sarah Abad got a scholarship from the Ecuadorian government to look at how agricultural robots could be made more mobile. Most of the robots are, they have just wheels which uh, are not suitable for the lands in, that we have in Ecuador we call, because we have uh, farms in hills and we, all, we also have obstacles like rocks and trunks so they are not going to be able to work in that kind of areas. Other members of the team are looking at human arm muscles to better understand how they work with tendons to control yes, okay. limbs. Others are using a robotic finger to mimic the way doctors feel for lumps beneath the skin, a level of sensitivity not normally associated with machines. These innovations and techniques are still years from being rolled out, but the team believe they will form the basis of a new generation of softer and more friendly robots. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera, London. <laughs>